Hello everyone, I am Dr. Trupti and you are watching my YouTube channel Enjoy Biochemistry. In this video, let's study brief answer question on very important topic lipid chemistry. Lipid chemistry includes lipids, definition, classification and functions of lipids. Then nomenclature types and functions of fatty acids, functions, deficiency manifestations and examples of essential fatty acids along with their sources, significance of triglycerides, structure and functions of cholesterol, examples and functions of phospholipid, glycolipids and lipoproteins. The first question is define lipids and write any two functions of lipids. So lipids are defined as organic substances relatively insoluble in water, soluble in non-polar organic solvents like alcohol, ether, benzene, chloroform, etc. which are actually or potentially related to fatty acids and utilized by the living cells. So this is the definition of lipid and there are many functions of lipid and here you have to write any two functions. So the various functions of lipid are lipids are the storage form of energy. So lipids the storage form is triglyceride. Triglycerides are stored in the adipose tissue. Then they are the structural components of biological membrane. So in the biological membrane, it is made up of phospholipid bilayer and it also has cholesterol. It is a metabolic regulator because the steroid hormones are de derived from cholesterol. Likewise, the prostaglandins, leukotrienes, they are also derived from arachidonic acid. Then the lipids, they act as electric insulator in neurons. For example, sphingomyelin is electrical insulator and lipids also protect internal organs due to the pads of fat and they are also important for absorption of various fat soluble vitamins like A, D, E, K. So there are various functions out of uh, those functions you can write any two functions of lipids. Second question is name any four disorders associated with altered lipid metabolism. The answer is obesity, atherosclerosis, diabetes mellitus, fatty liver, familial hyperlipoproteinemia. Question 3 is define fatty acids. Mention any two functions of fatty acids. The definition is fatty acids are long hydrocarbon side chain with carboxyl group at one end and methyl group at other end. So fatty acids are the carboxylic acid with hydrocarbon side chain. The functions of fatty acids are they are the building blocks of glycolipids which contains lipid plus carbohydrates, phospholipids and cell membrane. Second function is fatty acid for example arachidonic acid. It is a precursor of eicosanoids and the examples of eicosanoids are prostaglandins, lipoxins, leukotrienes. This is the second function. Third function is fatty acids serve as fuel for most of the cells in starvation except the brain because Fatty acid cannot cross blood brain barrier. Fatty acids are stored in the form of TAG that is triglycerides in adipose tissue. So these are the various functions out of which you have to write any two functions of fatty acids. Fourth question is enumerate essential fatty acids with their two sources and write the basis of their essentiality. So the examples of essential fatty acids are linoleic acid and linolenic acid. Arachidonic acid is derived from linoleic acid so it is not considered as essential fatty acid. Essential fatty acid means the fatty acids which are not synthesized in the body and should be supplied in the diet and all the essential fatty acids are polyunsaturated fatty acid which contain double bonds. And what is the basis of their essentiality? Humans lack enzymes which can introduce double bonds beyond carbon 9 to 10 during their synthesis and both this linoleic and linolenic they have double bond beyond carbon 9 so that's why they are essential they cannot be synthesized in the body and the sources of linoleic is corn oil, peanut oil, cottonseed oil, soybean oil and linolenic sources are walnut oil, flaxseed oil, canola oil, fish liver. So these are the various sources. So you can write any two of the sources and uh, the essential fatty acids, its basis of essentiality should be mentioned. Fifth question, enumerate any four functions of essential fatty acids. So first is as 
Arachidonic acid is derived from linoleic acid which is an essential fatty acid and that arachidonic acid is involved in the synthesis of eicosanoids like prostaglandins, prostacyclines, thromboxane and leukotrienes. So this is the first function. Synthesis of two other omega-3 PUFA from linolenic acid. So from the linolenic acid, the eicosapentaenoic acid and docosahexoenoic acid which is required for the proper development and functioning of brain and nervous system is synthesized and that's why this is the second function of uh, essential fatty acid. Now these essential fatty acids uh, they are required for um, maintenance of structural integrity, formation of healthy cell membrane and also the mitochondrial membrane. Because the arachidonic acid which is derived from linoleic acid it is 5 to 15 percent of fatty acid in phospholipid. And they are also involved in the lipoprotein uh, formation because lipoprotein has single phospholipid uh, layer and phospholipid they have arachidonic acid. Then fifth function is the essential fatty acid they prevent uh, fatty liver. They have anti-atherogenic effect and that's why it is called PUFA is cardioprotective. Now this PUFA here is arachidonic acid because this essential fatty acid arachidonic acid it increases esterification and excretion of cholesterol and thus it lowers the serum cholesterol level and it is involved in reverse cholesterol transport. So these are the various functions of essential fatty acid out of which you can write any four functions. Sixth question is write the shorthand representation that is in the C system and omega system of essential fatty acid. So linoleic acid is the essential fatty acid in the C system it is written as C18 2 because there are two double bond delta 9 12. So first double bond is between carbon atom 9 and 10 and second double bond is between carbon atom 12 and 13. So in the C system it is written like this. In the omega system linoleic acid is written like C18 because 18 carbons are there. 2 because 2 double bonds and omega 6 because the first double bond is between omega 6 and 7 carbon. Linolenic acid it also has 18 carbon but there are 3 double bonds. First double bond is between 9, 10, second between 12, 13 carbon and third between 15 and 16 carbon. So that's why it is written as C18, 3, delta, 9, 12 and 15 in the C system. While in the omega system, C18, 3 because 3 double bond but first double bond is between omega, carbon, 3 and 4. That's why it is C18, 3, omega, 3. So this is how the... Uh, essential fatty acids like linoleic acid and linolenic acid they are represented in both C system and omega system. Seventh question is write the consequences of essential fatty acid deficiency. So if there is essential fatty acid deficiency it leads to the condition called as phrynoderma or toad skin. There is horny eruptions on skin of limbs, back, buttocks, there is scaly skin, eczema and it is also characterized by pure, poor wound healing. Now the essential fatty acid deficiency can also lead to impaired lipid transport and also the fatty liver. It decreases the efficiency of uh, biological oxidation because essential fatty acids are required for the structural integrity of mitochondrial membrane. So these are the various consequences of essential fatty acid deficiency. Eighth question is PUFA is cardioprotective justify the statement here PUFA means arachidonic acid that is polyunsaturated fatty acid. Arachidonic acid is the constituent of phospholipid that is phosphatidylcholine which is also called as lecithin. There is transfer of this arachidonic acid from lecithin to the cholesterol and there is formation of cholesterol esters and this esterification process is very important in the reverse cholesterol transport that is transport of cholesterol from peripheral tissues to the liver and it is carried out by the lipoprotein HDL that is high density lipoprotein. So because of this esterification there is more uptake of cholesterol from the peripheral tissues and then that cholesterol is uh, delivered from the peripheral tissues to the liver for metabolism and thus it leads to decrease in the serum cholesterol level and this is anti-atherogenic effect where the arachidonic acid plays very important role and that's why it is said that PUFA is cardioprotective. So the arachidonic acid from lecithin it goes to cholesterol to form cholesterol esters by the action of enzyme lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase and because of this esterification 
द डिस्कॉइडल नेसेंट एच डी एल बिकम्स मैच्योर स्पेरिकल एच डी एल थ्री एंड इट प्लेज इम्पॉर्टेंट रोल इन रिवर्स कोलेस्ट्रॉल ट्रांसपोर्ट एंड रिवर्स कोलेस्ट्रॉल ट्रांसपोर्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज इट हैज द एंटी एथ्रोजेनिक इफेक्ट एज एच डी एल कैरीज कोलेस्ट्रॉल फ्रॉम पेरिफेरल टिश्यूज टू लिवर एंड दैट्स वाई इट इज सेड दैट प्यूफा इज कार्डियो प्रोटेक्टिव नाइन्थ क्वेश्चन इज राइट द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स ट्राइग्लिसराइड्स आर द न्यूट्रल फैट्स एंड इट इज सिंपल लिपिड इट इज द स्टोरेज फॉर्म ऑफ लिपिड एंड द फैटी एसिड आर स्टोर्ड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ट्राइसिल ग्लिसरॉल इन एडिपोस टिश्यू इज आर नॉन पोलर हाइड्रोफोबिक एंड दे आर स्टोर्ड इन द अनहाइड्रस फॉर्म एंड इट इज द हाईली कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी विच प्रोड्यूस नाइन किलो कैलरी पर ग्राम and a gram of nearly anhydrous fat stores more than 6 times as much energy as a gram of hydrated glycogen so triglyceride it is the storage form of fatty acid it is highly concentrated form of energy and in fasting and starvation triglycerides are broken down that it that lipolysis which is a uh, lysis or breakdown of triacylglycerol into glycerol and fatty acid and this process occurs under the influence of glucagon in fasting and starvation and the fatty acid which are produced by lipolysis they undergo beta oxidation and to form atp so that's why the triglycerides are important question number 10 is consumption of trans fatty acids is harmful justify now the trans fatty acids are unsaturated fatty acid in the trans isomeric form and these are produced by fermentation in human of dairy animals and also by catalytic hydrogenation of vegetable oil and various sources are dairy products meat fried food cookies etc now we will see why the consumption of trans fatty acid is harmful because they compete with essential fatty acid and causes essential fatty acid deficiency they increase tag level ldl level and thus leads to increased risk of cardiovascular diseases they decrease the hdl level and increase body's inflammatory response and that's why it is said that consumption of trans fatty acid is harmful enumerate any four examples of phospholipids phospholipids are the compound lipids which are made up of fatty acid plus alcohol plus phosphoric acid plus nitrogenous base now depending upon the alcohol present in the phospholipid they are again classified as a glycerophospholipid if glycerol is the alcohol and sphingophospholipid is is sphingosine is the alcohol in phospholipid now glycerophospholipid with nitrogenous base are lecithin sphalin phosphatidylserine plasmalogen and glycerophospholipid without nitrogenous base are cardiolipins phosphatidyl inositol and sphingomyelin is sphingophospholipid so the question is enumerate any four examples of phospholipid so you can just enumerate the examples like lecithin sphalin phosphatidylserine plasmalogen cardiolipin phosphatidyl inositol and sphingomyelin sphingomyelin so out of this you can uh, enumerate any four examples enumerate any four functions of phospholipids phospholipids play very important functions they are the major lipid constituent of cellular membrane because cellular membrane is made up of phospholipid bilayer constituent of lipoprotein lipoprotein membrane is a single layer made up of phospholipid and cholesterol lecithin which is also called as phosphatidylcholine it represents a storage form of lipotrophic factors like choline and methyl group lecithin also acts as lung surfactant which prevents alveolar collapse dipalmitoyl lecithin thromboplastin which is also called as a coagulation factor 3 it is composed of mainly a important phospholipid that is sphalin phosphatidyl inositol is a second messenger plasmalogen which is also called as platelet activating factor it is involved in platelet aggregation sphingomyelin acts as electrical insulator around the nerve fibers cardiolipin is necessary for electron transport process so there are many functions of phospholipid here you have to write any four functions and this topic is very important for saq also next question is enumerate lipoproteins and write function of any one lipoprotein lipoproteins are the compound lipids so the lipoproteins are chylomicrons very low density lipoprotein low density lipoprotein 
intermediate density lipoprotein and high density lipoprotein so here you have to enumerate the lipoproteins now the chylomicrons what is the function of chylomicron chylomicron is synthesized in the intestine and it transports dietary or exogenous triglycerides from the intestine to peripheral tissue this is the function of chylomicron vldl it is synthesized in the liver and it is involved in the de novo or endogenous triglyceride transport from the liver to peripheral tissue so this is the function of vldl that is it carries triglyceride from liver to peripheral tissue now what is the function of ldl ldl is derived from vldl in the circulation and it transports cholesterol to the peripheral tissue and that's why it is called as atherogenic and hdl it is synthesized from intestine and liver and it transports cholesterol from peripheral tissues to liver that is reverse cholesterol transport and that's why hdl is called as anti atherogenic so here you have to enumerate the names of lipoproteins and you can write any function of any one lipoprotein uh, the function you can write the function of chylomicron vldl ldl or hdl 14 question is write any two examples of glycolipids with their functions glycolipids are also compound lipids the examples are cerebrosides sulfatides globosides and gangliosides cerebrosides are made up of ceramide plus monosaccharide and the galactocerebroside is present in the nerve tissue membrane glucocerebroside is present in non neural tissues and they are also involved in the synthesis of gangliosides more complex glycolipids and sulfatides contains ceramide plus monosaccharide plus sulfur and sulfogalactoceramide it, it is found in the myelin globosides made up of ceramide plus oligosaccharides and they are the constituent of rbc membrane and determinants of abo blood group gangliosides they are made up of ceramide plus oligosaccharides plus nana that is n acetyl nuramic acid so these are the various examples of glycolipids here you need not to write composition you have to write any two examples like cerebrosides sulfatides and you can write their function for example galactocerebroside it is uh, involved in the formation of nerve tissue membrane and glucocerebroside present in the non neural tissues and sulfogalactoside ceramide found in the myelin like this you can write any two example with their functions Question number fifteen is enumerate four functions of cholesterol. This is very important. BAQ and it is mostly asked in the viva also the functions of cholesterol. There are four functions. First, cholesterol is the structural component of cell membrane and lipoprotein along with the phospholipids. It is precursor for steroid hormones. So all the steroid hormones, progesterone, glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, androgen, estrogen, all are derived from the cholesterol. cholesterol degradation leads to formation of bile acids and then bile salts which are required for emulsification and micel formation and these processes are very important for digestion and absorption of lipids then cholesterol is a precursor of vitamin d synthesis and this vitamin d is very essential in calcium and phosphate metabolism so these are four important functions of cholesterol so in this video we have studied all important baqs on lipid chemistry If you find this video useful please subscribe like and share thank you for watching and happy learning